Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm back on the horse. Let's see how far I get today before I get distracted by something else. <laughs> it happens all the time. I gotta be careful not to make it too muscular in the front because they were not built like quarter horses they were anything but a quarter horse Mustangs I have uh, all my instructional videos now on Vimo, and uh, so now when you order a instructional video, I will give you a link and a password to the video or videos uh, that you order, and you can look at them as many times as you need to, and you can do it on your iPad or your LG pad or whatever pad you have, or even computer next to your or your phone or whatever you can do it uh, while you're sculpting and watch my videos and uh, follow the instructions I give you the uh, videos contain over 50 years of my experience at sculpting and uh, they're full of little tricks and uh, little shortcuts you can take to make something look real that isn't. I don't know if I can explain that any better, but that's basically what a sculptor does. He makes clay, which is formless, and he shapes it into something that looks familiar, basically. So, check out the uh, link be below this video. In the link, it uh, gives you a review of each of my videos, and it says DVDs just ignore that word uh, I've got to change all that and I don't know when I'm going to find time to do that and when you order my uh, instructional videos it'll say ordering a DVD but you're not ordering a DVD you're ordering my video because I get the order and instead of sending you the video the DVD I send you a link to the instructional video so I hope that's if any of you have any questions about things like that, just give me a uh, message and I'll uh, be glad to answer any questions you have.
what always amazes me is how thin the legs are of a horse at the bottom part and yet they can support the weight of the horse and the incredible power of the uh, horse's muscles in pushing that weight just uh, nature and God's creations just well I could never stop being amazed at the beauty of it all Now, I, I, I'll add the tails to the horses as the last thing I do, because if I do it now, I don't know how the tails are going to be in the final design, and uh, I'd end up tearing apart and doing them over again. So rather than... It, you have to do things in steps, and uh, it's tails and mane are part of that last final step that ties everything in. What I share in my instructional videos on creating a horse are proportions. How wide are the hips? How wide between the indention here and how wide the hips uh, correspond to the head measurement of the horse? All these things uh, I explain in my instructional videos. And... Uh, so take a look at them that make, make, might make a good Christmas gift for somebody with an iPad and a desire to sculpt. Uh, all right, everybody, that's going to be it for today. Um, I've got the hips, that's leg, and the, underneath the... Uh, the flanks of the horse and I'm gonna work on the uh, leg here to next time that that'll be tomorrow and then I'll work on the head of the horse and then I'm gonna work on the front legs probably Monday and uh, then I'm gonna start making the the uh, the base for this whole thing to sit on and uh, try to get all the action I can out of it and uh, Make it interesting. I'm going to have them running through sagebrush, so I've got to figure out how I'm going to sculpt sagebrush. I've done it before, but it's been a long time since I've done it. And uh, so I'm happy the way it's turning out. I just checked the proportions to see if. The horse is the right length, and uh, it is. Um, so, we'll see what happens next time. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you uh, 
Saturday. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.